Good morning, grade three and four. It's Friday, May 8th, 2025, 8-20. Uh, your work for today includes um, memory treasure recita recitation, uh, Christ is with me, verse two. If you didn't do the refrain for me last week, a few of you forgot that, uh, make sure you add it to this week, okay? Um, you should be all finished with Mother to Tigers. Your packet should be ready to be submitted and um, have read the book, read the story and taken the AR test on that already. Uh, one last epic read and AR test for that this week. Uh, grade three, you have, are all done with your lessons, woo, and are on a review today. And then grade four, we're almost there, 117, 118, 119, 120. So four lessons, one test, and one investigation. So grade three has one investigation to do with us as well. We're almost there. You can do it. Uh, be finishing up uh, your work on your junior park ranger packets. And um, if you feel you need an extra day or two, will you just let me know, please? I want this to be something that's enjoyable. Not that you left it till now, um, but if you're working on something and um, would like to take a little bit more time with it, I, I'm more than willing to help with that. You have a Wisconsin history test today on uh, World War I and the Great Depression. Um, and the corner you'll see it says the day the economy start, stopped working, and that would be the uh, Wall Street crash. Okay, um, let's go through our crossword puzzle. My other camera is being hiccupy right now, so I'll just uh, say them for you, okay? All right, uh, we're going to go across to start out with a slowdown in the economy over a long period is number three, depression, D-E-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N, depression, okay? And number five, what terrible event pulled the world out of the Great Depression? Number five is, I would accept war, W-A-R, or if you did WW1, uh, the I, Roman numeral one for World War One. either one of those would work for me, okay? Uh, number six, in what did troops spend most of their time during World War I? And that was trenches, T-R-E-N-C-H-E-S. Eight, one of the alphabet soup programs started by the government during the Great Depression, the Works Pro Progress Administration, and don't think too hard, W-P-A, the first letter of each word. Number nine, an important grain that dropped in price to just a few dimes per bushel, was wheat, W-H-E-A-T. Number one, a name for a woman in the roaring 20s who broke out of America's strict standards. Number one down was a flapper, F-L-A-P-P-E-R. Number two, Wisconsin established the Little War Cabinet, C-A-B-I-N-E-T. And a cabinet is a group of people that are working together uh, to accomplish something, and it was made up of people from the government and businesses in Wisconsin. Number three, the prairie region during the drought of the 1930s when winds blew dust everywhere. Number three down is Dust Bowl, D-U-S-T-B-O-W-L. Number four, where was World War I fought? Europe, E-U-R-O-P-E. And number five, who took over many of the jobs when men left to, uh, to war? Women, W-O-M-E-N. And number seven, over blank million men died in World War I, and that is eight. Over eight million men died in World War I, E-I-G-H-T. Okay? So those are your lessons for your crossword puzzle. Take your time. Read carefully. Make sure that you answer the questions completely, and if it says how, or if it says why, I am expecting an explanation, not yes, not no, but the how or why, okay? And especially be careful on some of those multiple choice ones. Um, if it has a choice for all of the above, you better double check that you've got all of the things checked that you need to. Some of them, that's where you make a mistake is you don't check all of the answers that you need to. Okay? All right. God's blessings on your test. And then uh, we're going to be going a little bit quickly this week through our next few lessons so that we get all the way through the end of Wisconsin history. So you'll be starting today.
Okay, once you finish your test, start today to work on uh, the World War II one. It looks like this, okay? That terrible day in December is the title right here. And then up on the top, Wisconsin helps win World War II, okay? And so the things that we do to help now in World War II. So today you're testing on World War I. Um, today and over the weekend, you'll read up through this material for World War II. Um, and uh, it just has things for you to read here on the homophones and homographs to understand that, okay? Um, but not a specific activity that you need to do with that. You will have a test on this page on Monday, okay? So you'll have a test on this already on Monday. So we'll go through the answers for that then. So yes, you have to either work on it today or sometime over the weekend. You might have to happen to recall that when you were in regular school here, you sometimes had homework on the weekends, right? All right. So it doesn't necessarily have to be done today, but it does have to be done by Monday morning. All right. Uh, so grade three, you have a review. Grade four, you are going to be talking about uh, numbers into the hundred millions, and I am going to, to going to allow you to read your lesson today, do your practice. I don't think you'll have any problems with it. I would make sure that I use uh, the place value chart that they give you on the top of page 736 to help you out. Line your numbers up with that, and that will help you to uh, round things to the right place, okay? If you have any questions, you certainly can give me a holler, though, okay? You know that. Alrighty, everyone have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.